Polarization is actually a very simple concept. It just basically illustrates the fact that, that light is a transverse wave. And just to refresh our memory here, we have two types of waves that we've dealt with. We dealt with what's called the longitudinal or pressure wave, and that's like sound, where um, I'll illustrate it, you know, where you have, um, with maybe a slinky, if you think of a slinky having areas of stretch where it's stretched out and areas where it's compressed. We call these again rarefactions and these compressions and then maybe it gets stretched out again and then another compression. So these, you know, these compression waves like this, so it, the motion is basically um, parallel um, to the direction of the motion of the wave. And so in other words, if I move this back and forth like this, it'll create a longitudinal wave. Light doesn't behave like this. Sound does, but light doesn't. Uh, light, on the other hand, light does something like um, like this. It basically is a transverse wave. How do we know this? Okay, that this is a transverse wave. In other words, if I move the string up and down, in other words, perpendicular to the direction of the motion of the wave. Uh, we know this uh, based on something called polarization. And now, if we take, um, I'll just illustrate this with a. They always illustrate this with like a fence. You can imagine here, um, if this is like a fence post here. And what can happen here is, well, if I have a fence post like this, in this direction, in other words, vertical, okay, vertical fence post, it will not allow a wave to come in that's moving like this. In other words, um, in this direction, it would be blocked by the fence. In other words, if it was moving, you can imagine a transverse wave that's getting vibrated like this so that it comes out and it moves in this direction, that would be blocked. Okay, it's hard to draw this in three dimensions, but that would be blocked. It would allow a wave to come that's going in up and down motion coming through here. Okay, it wouldn't allow a horizontal motion back and forth coming through because it would be blocked. But a vertical would be allowed. So in other words, this would select um, certain waves. It would select only the vertical waves and leave uh, and deny the horizontal waves. Similarly, if I had a fence post like this that was horizontal, it would only allow the horizontal motion waves to come through the long the pardon me the transverse waves as opposed to the vertical okay the reason I'm saying this is because if I take what's called a polarized lens here's a polarized lens it looks kinda like your uh, shaded sunglasses here okay? and you can see maybe my fingers behind it um, it does get a little dimmer the reason it gets dimmer is well if you can see this letter R here hopefully this shows up here but if I take this letter R and I put a polarized lens on it you can barely but you can see hopefully make out the the letter R behind it okay just it's right there okay and no matter which way I orient this you know it'll show that letter R okay um, so this letter R is right here now the reason I can only see part of it is because it's selecting it and you can think of this as like the fence maybe this is a vertical fence or horizontal but it'll be selecting basically half of the of the um, of the waves the reason I know that is because if I take another one, and here's another polarized lens, and I put it over top, same idea, you can still see R. It selects half of it. Now, the thing is, if I put it over top, okay, you can barely make out the R now because, again, more and more is, it, is being selected out. The reason I know it's transverse, though, is because if I take this now, and I start rotating it in this direction, now these are 90 degrees to each other. And in fact, it's completely black behind her. You can't see anything. And the reason is, is because it's taken basically like this. It's taking a vertical fence and adding, I'll just make it like this quickly, and adding a horizontal fence to it. In which case, no light is allowed through here. Not the vertical motion and not the horizontal motion. Both of them would be blocked. And that's what's happening here. It's basically completely blocking. If I bring it back so that they're in the same, you'll be able to just faintly make out the R, my finger behind it. But again, if I make them 90 degrees to each other, you can't make out anything. It's completely black behind here. This is a polarized lens and how polarization works. It basically illustrates the fact that light must be a transverse wave. Okay, it must be a transverse wave. So be aware of that, and this, uh, this evidence here illustrates that.